Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. First of all, happy Mother's Day to everybody. It is a special day to enjoy and cherish and um, think about our moms and how grateful we are to them that they brought us into the world and hopefully they were a good mom and... Maybe if they weren't that great, they tried really hard, who knows, right? Being a mom is probably one of the most right at the top rewarding things I've ever done in my life. I thoroughly enjoyed my kids as they were growing up and um, I got thrown into it feet first with three step kids right off the bat. <laughs> And um, you guys know that I have Stephanie, Anna, and Steven. Those are my stepchildren. And that they have been with me since they were, I believe, I want to say four, five, and six years old. So I came into the picture pretty early. And um, that was quite an experience, <laughs> right? And then Steve and I had Haley. So we have lots of kids, lots of grandkids, and... Um, Mother's Day is something that we celebrate every day. So, yeah, happy Mother's Day to all of you. It is definitely um, a holiday worth celebrating, right? Because sometimes being a mom can be the hardest thing that you ever do. It is the most rewarding, but it can also be the hardest, right? Okay, I am going to pull us up on the Facebook, on my um, iPad here. And... I was kind of scrambling because um, we went out to lunch today. We we were at my mom's house. Um, we went up to South Park for the weekend. And then we went over to my mom's house. I took my mom and her friend out for fish on Friday night. Steve and I did. And then we went down to South Park where I'm happy to report we have two dead mice. Yeah. So... And then when we were ready to leave today, Steve's like, do you want me to set that trap up again? Um, yeah, <laughs> because if there's more in there, I want them all dead. <laughs> so we got two mice, so I'm hoping that's it. That would be wonderful. But then um, we stayed the weekend. I worked pretty much all weekend. We went out to lunch on Saturday and then um, went shopping at Walmart. That's what all there is in Black River as well. There's another like home and home, like a fleet farm store, maybe like, um, I don't know what you guys would call it that don't have fleet farm, but farm store. But we did go to Walmart. We bought some things for the camper. And uh, yeah, it was a really, really relaxing weekend. Steve worked in the garage all weekend. He got the attic door, the access door to the attic done last time we were there. This time he put the walls in and caulked everything and did that foam stuff in the big gaps like by the windows. So he's getting ready to paint that. So that's exciting. We're doing a little bit of work there. I do have a... I don't have an appointment, but I am on the list to get on the schedule to get a well put in. We're going to have a well drilled there. We have electricity, but we don't have any water. And I did try to take a little walk down through the woods. I was going to go down to the creek. There's a big creek that goes behind our property. And our property um, is butted up against county-owned land. So that's cool. Um, so I was going to take a walk down and see the see the creek. It's called Wedges Creek. And I didn't get that far before I turned around and went back because there was a whole bunch of picker. Those picker, they're not bushes. They're just a one thing that sticks up out of the ground with all these pickers on it. And I had my, my good boyfriend jeans on. <laughs> and they were poking me in the legs. And it made a whole bunch of little... Um, you know, little things all over my jeans and it made me mad and I tried to go into the woods to see if it was better and it just looked like it was getting worse so I turned around, I quit. Turned around and went back. So I decided I need to get some brush pants. Yes, I do. Our bear hunters wear those and um, I've always admired them as you can, as only a hunter can admire brush pants. <laughs> so I will have some by the time I go to South Park again so I can go down to the creek. But um, somebody said, somebody asked me, like, you went down there by yourself? 
my mom, that's who it was. And I said, yeah. She's like, Kelly, you don't have a real good sense of direction. <laughs> I'm like, mom, it's on the edge of the woods. All you're gonna do is follow the edge of the woods back. I can handle that. So that was kind of funny. And then Steve made me take a gun. So I had a gun tucked in my back of my pants. I felt pretty bad at us, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But I failed totally. So don't worry. It was the circus. Okay, I'm going to find my live here so I can monitor um, your comments as we get rolling. <laughs> so I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, so today, we, on our way back, we stopped in Wapak and we went to Clearwater. I think it's called Clearwater Harbor. Um, it's right on the lake, and it's Haley's favorite place to go to eat. And so we met Haley and Jared and the babies there, and we had lunch. And it was fun and delicious. And, oh, I was kind of preoccupied trying to get a table because it's real weird there. It's first come, first serve. So you got to kind of stand there and watch for somebody who looks like they're leaving and then, like, like converge on them like vultures. I wasn't that bad, but standing there trying to get a table because Steve doesn't really like going to this place that much because you always have to kind of wait and it's not that big of a deal. Well, so anyways, I was like really intent on that. And then all of a sudden Steve comes in and I see Jared is behind him and I'm like, Oh good. They're there. And I'm preoccupied. All of a sudden Val comes up and she's like, beam this big beaming smile like there's my granny. Oh, and then I had to grab her and smooch her and kiss her and, we got to sit outside. It wasn't that nice out today here in Wisconsin. It was overcast all day um, and it wasn't that warm. But on the outside, they dropped down these clear like curtains. They're clear curtains so you can still see the lake, the chain of lakes, they call it. And they have heaters outside and they're outside bars. So we sat out there and that worked out great. And Val was really good and Dawson slept the entire time until it was time to leave and then he woke up for pictures. So um, I was wondering if Haley's pictures, she tagged me in them, posted on my Facebook page. I'm not sure. So when we get done, I'll go take a look at that and make sure they're there and figure out. Um, I have my Facebook page set up so that most of the time people need to be approved before something they tag me in gets posted to my page because... As you can well imagine, I have some kind of crazy things that people try to tag me in and also some rather pornographic things that <laughs> people try to, t you know, like the um, the hackers or whatever, try to get all this stuff posted on your page. So I have to be really careful about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of pornographic, <laughs> let's go right there. I had to show you this. So I covered up the words. I don't want to offend anybody, but today... This is my gift for my darling daughter, Haley. And um, you guys know that we have a pretty good sense of humor, right? So she explained to me that her and Jared want to get me something nicer for Mother's Day. But it's nicer enough that it needs to com be combined with something else, like maybe my birthday. And so um, for my birthday, I will get my Mother's Day and birthday gift. But in the meantime, she picked me up this fabulous Nature Blank Picks calendar. I know it's it may be totally inappropriate, but I think you guys have a pretty good sense of humor. And if you don't, you need to giggle a little bit, like lighten up, okay? But um, yeah, so I covered up the word. You can probably fill it in there, right? And then it's got all of these nature pictures on it. <laughs> and it says, it's 2022 and simply put, you're an amazing human being, truly a person of refinement and exquisite taste. So it only makes sense that you are a proud owner of a calendar filled with nature's finest shafts, spears, pinnacles, hoodoos, and other rock formations. <laughs> Your wall will never be the same with this inspiring collection of nat natural formations straight from Mother Nature's dirty mind. On top of that, you're supporting our beautiful national parks and prostate cancer research with this smart buy. Thank you for being you. You rock. So there you're, there's your, <laughs> I know. I see your comments going on. Yeah, Dina will uh, really appreciate this, I'm sure. <laughs> so, sorry if anybody was offended. But again, if you're offended by this, I'm probably not your person. <laughs> we need to laugh a little bit more, right? And it's my special day. So, you know, Mother's Day. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have a John report. We've been gone. Nothing's been happening with John. Although, 
when we were getting ready to go to South Park, um, John did come out and I said, I waved to him and said, hi. Oh, that was actually when I was taking Steve, we were backing out of the driveway. I think that's when we were leaving or maybe it was when we were going to South Park. Anyways, Steve calls me Friday morning and Steve doesn't call me very often, right? So he calls me Friday morning and he's at the gas station down the street. Come and get me. My bike quit. His new Harley. It just quit at the stoplight. So I went down and I picked him up and brought him home. He came home and got some tools and some things. And he's very mechanical. Thank goodness, right? I just love that about him. He's a pretty handy guy and he's pretty smart. So, and well, you know, he can be kind of a jerk sometimes too, but can't they all? Anyways, I took him back down to um, his motorcycle and uh, he took the bad, oh no, no, I brought him home and then he left by himself and he went down and he, um, he's never taken anything off of this bike. He just got it like a week ago. Right. So, um, he had to take the battery out. He thought the battery might be weak. He kind of got that feeling for whatever reason, something happened. And so he took the battery out and took it into batteries plus and sure enough, the battery was shot. So he got a new battery. He's, he stood there by his bike. Now this is how good he is. And he's done this many times. He stood there by his bike watching a YouTube video how to find and take apart the battery because the battery is not like right there. It's like all inside and all over and it's, you know, kind of a deal. So um, he, did, he did that with my Explorer, my old Explorer too, because the heat vent wasn't, one, one of them wasn't blowing heat anymore. So he went on YouTube and looked up the problem, like heat vent isn't blowing. And they showed how to take like a matchbook and stick it in something. And then it all worked and it continued to work. So he's pretty smart that way. So anyways, he got a new battery in his bike and then it all worked. And that threw us off on Friday because he was headed to the gym and he works out like probably every day-ish. And um, he was headed to the gym and then that, you know, took up his whole morning and we're supposed to be going to South Park. And when we were leaving for South Park, we were backing out of the driveway and that's when we saw John and I said hi to him. And um, that's my only John report. And uh, I said to Steve, I said, I'm really proud of you for like keeping yourself together today when all that went down with your bike. <laughs> he goes, yeah. Because <laughs> he could have like came a little unglued and he really didn't. He stayed nice and even keeled. So I like my retired Steve much better than my working Steve, I have to say. Yeah, Google's the best, Linda says. I know, right? Like YouTube, Google, you can find anything. It's crazy. So um, on to tonight. I am going to award prizes. First of all, there are three ways that you can win some fabulous product from me. The first way is to comment right here, right now. If you're new to me, please comment. Um, I definitely want to hear from you. You can just say hello or where you're from or whatever the case may be. But um, leave a comment on the video. And that goes for when you're watching later on YouTube or watching the replay. All of these get entered in a drawing. Next week, I will um, put everybody into a drawing and you will win fabulous product. And so for comments from my last Facebook Live, I have a package of the polished dots. These are gorgeous. These are going out to Rhonda Hargit. Rhonda, congratulations. You were the big winner on our commenting drawing for this week. So yay! And then the second way that you can um, win a prize from me is to share this video. Someplace right now on your screen, you can share the video. And when you do that, you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous product. I have a pack of the, I can't never remember what this is called, New Horizons. <gasps> Designer Series Paper. Yeah, it goes this way. <laughs> New Horizons Designer Series Paper. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is going out to Heather Kohler. I think Heather just celebrated an anniversary. I saw on her Facebook page that she and her husband got married in Las Vegas. So did Steve and I. We got married 20 something years ago in Las Vegas. So yay, 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 Heather. Heather, this will be in the mail to you this week. So make sure you're clicking on that share, whether you're watching now or watching later 
on Facebook or watching later on YouTube, you can click on the share button. And make sure you're giving me a thumbs up right now. Click on that like button. That really helps with the analytics of Facebook. And again, on YouTube, give me a thumbs up for a like. That always is helpful. The third way that you can win, and I have a Queen Anne's Lace to give away. This is a beautiful photo polymer stamp set. The third way that you can win is by placing an order with me. I put everybody's names into a drawing. And Carla Michael of, oh, I think it's Yukon, Oklahoma. Carla, this is coming your way. Yay! So thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your orders. It is what keeps me in business. All the things combined, all the things combined make a huge difference to me. So I appreciate you and I just want you to know that. Um, the next thing I wanted to mention to you guys is um, there's a new thing on YouTube. Not here on Facebook. You're watching live right now. But if you're watching later on YouTube, there is something called a super thanks button. So I hear from a lot of you, I know that um, a lot of you are demonstrators, right? I know this and I'm so grateful that you are tuning in and that I can provide some entertainment and some good stamping tips for you, right? And ideas. But um, I hear from you guys so often that you would love to be able to order, but you're already a demonstrator, so you're ordering from yourself or maybe you already have a demonstrator and you are loyal to that person. And I completely understand all of that, but YouTube just came out with something called a super thanks button. And what that is, is it's kind of like a tip jar. So underneath the YouTube video, you're gonna see super thanks. This um, YouTube just emailed me this week and says, hey, you qualify for a super thanks button. And I kind of investigated it and I turned it on and sure enough, now, when you watch any of my YouTube videos, there's a super thanks button underneath the video. When you click on that, it has some amounts that you can tip, which I think is just crazy. But you know what? Every little bit helps, right? So for those of you that have been asking me for a long time, you wish that you could help. This is a great way to help. And um, yeah, I YouTube. Yay, YouTube. Thank you so much. So wanted to let you know about that. The other thing I wanted to show you, branded merchandise. Stampin' Up! has these beautiful cups available to everyone, not just demonstrators. So in my online store, you can do a search for the word tumbler, and you're going to find all of our in-color. We have five different colors of tumblers. These are absolutely beautiful. I wanted to get one first, and I think I'm going to get one in every color because I said to Steve, I, I showed it to him, I said, we could take these up to South Park and keep them in our camper. These would be nice cups to just have up there for when we have the people, the kids, whoever happens to come over. So these are also, I hope you can see that. I don't know if you can, they're glittery. So they're really, really pretty. So they're very nice cups. They're stainless steel on the inside. They have a very nice lid. The lid closes, you can stick a straw in there. This would make a good old fashioned um, drink glass. And I might add that I might have had a couple of those over the weekend. Mm, something comfort, old fashioned, my favorite. So we have these in all five in colors. Um, let's see, we've got Parakeet Party. We've got Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky. Tahitian Tide and a sorbet, which we're going to be using. So I have that packed in a bin. It's a it's a pretty like poppy red color. So tumblers available in my online store. Just do a search for the word tumbler. That's I went on there to make sure that that would work. And then oh my good grief! Check this out. This is a gorgeous gorgeous hoodie. Let's see if I can get back far enough. <gasps> Yeah, now this is our um, Abigail Rose Designer Series paper print on there. Isn't that beautiful? And it has the Stampin' Up! logo on it. This is a gorgeous hoodie. These are available in my online store, and I think all you need to type in is hoodie, and you'll find them. But they are very, very cool. They are very nice quality. Um, the one thing that I want to say about them is they're very true to size. Let me get back in here. 
they're very true to size. Um, I don't like things that are tight, so I tend to order my clothes a little bit maybe bigger than I should. This is a large and it fits me perfectly, okay? Um, so just know that me, I like a large, and usually it's because of my, you know, yeah, that I have to order clothes bigger. And I don't, I don't like things tighter because then you get the muffin rolls. Yeah, I don't like to see that. It's not attractive. <laughs> so anyways, hoodies, tumblers, and we have grid paper, in color grid paper. This is a, um, a tablet of grid paper in all of our beautiful in color colors. Let me see if I can make it fan. Oh, it's kind of tricky. There we go. Oh my gosh. This is a pack that lays on your desk and I will be stamping with it tonight. It's really pretty. So that is called grid paper. I think you can find that when you type in the word grid, maybe, I hope. I didn't check that one. We also have some floral um, folders, file folders. They're like pocket folders with the, with the Abigail Rose flowers on them. Let me, let me do this. Um, and I don't know, there was probably some other stuff too, but these were the big things that really like went, woo, for me. I love branded merchandise. I love having my Stampin' Up! stuff all over the place. Um, I've got Stampin' Up! bags, I've got Stampin' Up! t-shirts, I've got all kinds of Stampin' Up! stuff, and I love them. <gasps> Connie says she loves the hoodie. I know, right? It's really, really nice. The other thing about the hoodie is it doesn't, it's not stretchy, so just know that. That kind of threw me a little bit, and I'm like, oh, this doesn't stretch, but then I put it on, and it fits perfect, so um, it's not real tight either. And mine, like I said, I usually get a large and stuff, so keep that in mind. All right, we have some new online classes happening. Uh, cup of Tea class is, we're going to be using Cup of Tea tonight, so I'm really excited about the projects that we're going to be making. Um, the Cup of Tea class is my online class that I do with my friends Barb and Dina. So if you've already ordered from them, don't order from me. Also, if you are a Stamp Happy Academy member, that is our subscription website where we put four online classes every month. Um, you can get a basic membership for $19.95. You can get a premium membership for $34.95, which includes all those online classes, plus our live classes. There are three live classes every month. Um, or you can do a live only if you're on our teams. You get this subscription, the basic subscription for free. You can do the live only option for $20. There's three different, three different memberships. But this class is on Stamp Happy Academy. So... Or um, the class with all the bundle of products is $105. Option number two is the pre-cut cardstock with ribbon, fun flower, resin flowers, and a craft box. That's $45. You can add on the designer series paper and the T Boutique cards and envelopes with priority shipping. Um, if you choose, if you don't have them, you're going to need them for the class. But you can also order the class PDF for $20, or you can join Stamp Happy Academy where you get four online classes every single month. That's kind of a no-brainer, right? Okay, that's our online class. Then my kit class that I do is the Sweetest Cherries Kit. I am going to be using that for my kit this month. It comes with, they have a pack of the Awash in Beauty Designer Series paper, iridescent pearls, peekaboo treat bags, rose gold and white ribbon and a blending brush. So we're gonna be doing something with a blending brush. Plus eight envelopes. That kit is $55 without the bundle. If you need the Sweetest Cherries bundle, which is a stamp set and a punch, it is a total of $95.25. Then the last thing that I have is bingo, personally by myself here. Um, bingo is May, let me look this up, May 25th. I'll be getting um, information out on that. We are going to be using the He's All That bundle, Let's Set Sail bundle, and Wildlife Wonder. So I'm thinking we're going to be doing some masculine cards. So that's exciting. Um, bingo is $35. You have the opportunity to add on the bundles or the stamp set if you would like to do that. And um, it's a lot of fun. We make five cards and in between 
the cards we play bingo. So it's a card class. That's what you're paying for. You get a pre-cut card stock pack for all five cards, plus um, some goodies. There's going to be probably some ribbon and embellishments. I haven't figured that part out yet, but I will. So don't worry about that. Those are all my classes for the month of May. Uh, next thing I want to tell you about is join my team. You will never be disappointed that you join my team. The um, In Color Starter Kit is available for the whole month of May. You can be a discount shopper or you can um, do this as a business, whatever you choose to do. You're going to get the fabulous pack of grid paper. You're going to get a pack of assorted cardstock in the In Colors, the Designer Series Paper Pack, and also all five ink pads added on top of your kit. Kit is $99. You get to choose $125 in any product you want, plus you're gonna get this, okay? And uh, you get to be part of my team until the end of, let's see, you get a full three month period, or a full quarter, so six months. So right now it's May, June, July, August, September, October, till the end of October, you get to be part of my team. And oh, you guys, I have, we have a lot of fun. Like, let me tell you, being on my team, fabulous. Gay wants to know, how do you join? You're going to go to my website, my blog, www.astampabove.com. And you are going to look for in the top underneath my banner, it says join my team. You click right on there. Also in the side column. There's a place that says $99 kit. You can get all the details on there for that. Click that. At the bottom of each blog post is a join my team link. There's a link in, in the blog post that shows this. You can get there a million different ways, but the best way is www.estampabove.com. Join, it's so much fun. I have been loading new people into my system. They go into our private Facebook group. They go in, they get um, passwords for our, our team blog. We have a team meeting coming up tomorrow night that's going to be a ton of fun. There's demonstrations, so many things, you guys, so many things. You will love it. And if you're a stamper, you should be getting a discount on your product and you should be part of something bigger, which is so much fun. How would you like to have just a whole bunch of friends that like the same thing you do? It's a win-win. Okay, last but not least, I wanna talk to you about our catalog kickoff. So our catalog kickoff started last Tuesday. We have card challenges going in there. We have mystery stamping happening in there. And it's not too late to join that event, okay? Because you can still do the car challenges. They're on a Facebook group. You can still do the mystery stamping. You can still participate in everything. There are giveaways. We have um, seven different live classes. Now, this event goes from May 3rd until the 20th. Prizes for all of the challenges are going to be awarded on the 21st. It is a Facebook group where we have daily stuff going on. We have card galleries. We'll have a game night. Um, like I said, seven live classes. And Tuesday, we have an extra, and I mean extra special guest that's going to be presenting, um, I'm sure, a beautiful project to us for one of our live classes. And you don't want to miss that. The catalog kickoff is $15. And you will find that, again, in my online classes, right-hand column of my blog. Go down until you see online classes. If you're on a phone, there's three little dots at the top of your screen when you get to my blog. Click on that or three little lines or something. That'll give you the column. And you're going to go to online classes. You're going to find catalog kickoff. You can register for it. It's only $15. Again, Free if you're a Stamp Happy Academy member. So there comes that Stamp Happy Academy again. So many benefits there. Um, free if you're a Stamp Happy Academy member. Also free if you're one of my team members. So yay. Um, there are make and take packets that are going to be, that are available right now to go with the make and takes that we're going to be doing. But lots and lots of fun. Catalog kickoff. New catalog inspiration. It's going to be fantastic. And somebody just asked, Vicki says, are they recorded? Yes, everything is recorded. So if you can't watch it when it's happening, you will be able to watch it. There's a schedule right at the top of the Facebook page 
with links as they happen. So once we do a live class, we put the link in there. Here's Kelly's live class. Here's Dina's live class. All the links are loaded into that um, schedule so they're easy for you to find. Plus, if you buy the make and take packets, you will be getting a PDF file with links to all the live classes so you'll be able to make your make and takes. Lots of fun. Okay, Whew, that's a lot of chit chat, right? I have some really cool mail to show you, so I'm gonna set that over here. Oh, geez, don't let me lose it. I'm gonna set that over here. We'll get back to that. I have mail in my drawer. Um, I have to tell you guys, you guys remember Priscilla that was here? She flew in from California to help with our retreat. Yeah, she sent me these flowers for Mother's Day. You always have to take time to stop and smell the flowers. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. Mmm, gorgeous. So, thank you, Priscilla. I love them. You guys might notice I did a little bit redecorating back here. Let me see if I can move my phone up a little bit. I have that cool, um, like, picture. I'm going to use it to hang cards. I'm going to hang that up on my wall. I don't have it hung up yet. So, I did just a little bit of redecorating back there. Can I talk about a little bit more about the Discount Shopper? Um, you're going to find all the details about the Discount Shopper on my blog. There's a whole question answer. Just about anything you can think of to ask is going to be on there. But in a, in a short little spurt here, when you become a Discount Shopper, you join the Stampin' Up! family. Okay, so you are considered a demonstrator. What you choose to do with that is completely up to you. You can just order for yourself and get a discount. You can, um, you can start selling to friends and family and order for yourself and get a discount. You can make a little extra. We all get 20% instant income, and then it goes up from there depending on what you do with it. Um, there's a whole bunch of benefits. We get to order 30 days usually in advance of a new catalog or a new promotion, so we get to pre-order stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, when they have a big sale, like a clearance sale or whatever, we get that 20% discount still on stuff that's on sale. So that's pretty cool too. You get to be part of a team. I have a team meeting every month. I do a Q&A every Tuesday, which is question and answer. You get to live, it's live. You get to live ask me questions and answers. Um, we do team training every Wednesday afternoon. If you want to make this a business, we, we have training available to you that will help you. Um, you do have, we do have quarterly minimums. So when you join, you get a full three months to meet quarterly minimums. Right now, we're already into that this, the next quarter. So you wouldn't get, it would be May, June, July. You wouldn't get until the end of July. You'll get the next quarter. So August, September, October, till the end of October to meet the quarterly minimums. They are $300 a quarter. So um, you can have some friends and family help you meet that. You can um, do that all on your own. Um, most of my team members are discount shoppers. They're just in it for the discount and the fun because we're all about fun here. And so they don't have any issues meeting those minimums. And we are not judgy. <laughs> we don't care how you do it as long as you stick with us because we love to have a lot of fun. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y at astampabove.com and I think we're ready oh my gosh you guys we are going to be playing with uncolors we've got in colors brand new in colors tonight hang on I just want to make sure that my phone is still scrolling and some really really yep okay pretty projects now I'm going to flip my camera around and we are going to get started here oh um hang on to bring this stuff in. Now, if you saw, I said that we're going to be making, we're going to be doing some never ending stamping tonight. Anybody got a little guess about what that's all about? Never ending stamping. Yeah. So, first of all, we're going to be using the cup of tea bundle. We're going to go over this. I'm going to show you all the good details. We're also going to be using the tea boutique cards and envelopes. How many of you have these? They're so pretty, right? And we've got the new glassy dots and the fun flower resin um, shapes. And these are part of, hang on, I'm looking, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. 
our cup of tea online class. So these, these are going to be part of the cup of tea online class. All right, let's flip this camera around. If you guys have any questions that I have missed, please feel free to ask me when I'm done stamping because the messages scroll through really fast if a bunch of people are leaving messages at the same time. So while I do see a lot of them, a lot of times I don't. Somebody had asked me how they get rid of their stars enabled that's on their screen right now. And um, I really don't know. I, I don't know how to do that, but um, I'm sure somebody can tell you how. Okay, hang on, we're gonna do this. Ah. All right, you guys. I see that we have 439 people that are watching right now. And that number just always blows me away. Okay, I just wanna make sure that I have this straight on here because I don't like it when it's crooked. It makes me a little crazy. All right, you guys, this is my blog, www.estampabove.com. You can type that into any search engine you're going to find me. This is my current host code. If you place an order with me and your order is under $150, please use this code it's, and it shows you on my blog where to use that code. You can always find the current code on my blog, but it shows you where to find where to put the code on your order. It's pretty simple. Um, so, oh, I see that's really kind of sticking out there a lot. Um, you'll be able to do that. If your order is under $150, please use the code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. Okay, I think we're ready to stamp. Okay, so Heather says, how do we know which level we are under you? Um, well, Heather, I can tell you that you are on Rose's team. Rose is my third level. Stampin' Up! goes up and down three levels. So you are not officially on my team. You are on Rose's team. And how do you know which levels you're under? You can ask your team leader. Whoever you signed up with, that's a good place to start. So thank you for asking that. All right, we've got a whole bunch of brand new products here that I'm going to be sharing with you guys tonight. Um, oh, I'm just checking messages here again. Yeah, there's a lot of people here, Gay. I know, right? <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Okay, um, how do we know which level? Okay, that was Heather's question. Da, 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 da. Yeah, the more you guys share my videos, the more people I have watching me. So uh, that's a win-win. This is our teacup bundle. Now, this is a whole suite of products. Let me, oh, where did my designer paper go? I know I have one open here someplace. Um, six by six designer series paper. Oh, here it is. I'm like, I know I just had it out. I kid you not. Here is, wow, my pack is getting really low because I've been going crazy with this. Like I have had so much fun with this. Um, I use this for my Stamp Happy Live class. Um, I think I made a couple cards with this paper, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's a six by six pack. And I love that it incorporates, well, let me see if I can get this back in here. I love that it incorporates these fun little teacups, but I also like that it has non-teacups, okay? So we've got flowers and um, I don't know what you call that, checkered whatever, diagonal checkered dealy whoppers. We've got more flowers, flowers, stripes, um, little patterns. We've got some lemon wedges, more teacups, teapots, teacups, flowers coming out of envelopes, more teacups, some stripes, some, some um, hashy looking patterns. <laughs> I love, I love all of these because while I love to use our designer series paper with our bundles, okay, with the bundle, I love to use them without the bundle too. And these other patterns allow you to do that. Um, this pack of paper, you get 48 sheets in here. 
and um, it matches all the colors on here. I want you guys to know that the colors of the cardstock are listed on the back of each one of our designer series paper packs. So these are the coordinating cardstock colors. So what I do here is I take a circle punch and I punch out all those colors so that I can visually see what's going on. Now, every time I show these, somebody always asks me if I have these available for sale. I do not, but here's what you do. You type up the name of the paper and all the coordinating colors. That's what I do. You can put on anything you want and you print out a sheet on white cardstock. So when I print this out, all that's up here is the title. Then you take your designer series paper and you cut it for six by six packs of paper. You're going to cut it. That's what I thought. One and a half by one and a half. So this is one side, this is the opposite side. This is one side, this is the opposite side. And you just put all these on here. Now, I like to use these because I need to show you guys what's in a paper pack, right? I do a lot of videos, but even if I am not making videos, I like to have these and I will pull this out and go, okay, um, oh, here's the pink and there's the pink and there's the pink. Okay, which one do I wanna use? This is just a really good reference for me rather than taking all my paper out and spreading it all over the place to look at the sheets and the backs and the fronts and the, I love this. I use this all the time when I'm starting to design cards. So T Boutique, 48 sheets, it's $12. You get a whole six by six pack. There's four sheets of each print in here. It is fabulous. Next up, we have our cup of tea stamp set. This has 20 different stamps in it. These stamps are photopolymer, so they're clear rubber, which is my absolute favorite. I love photopolymer stamps. And some of the really neat things that we have in here, we have a little like tea bag tag outline, little tiny words that fit on the tea bags, some greenery that you can put in them, that lemon wedge, and some great sentiments with some flowers and some little greeny springy things. Then we have our teacup dies. Now you can get, if you buy the bundle, cup of tea bundle, you get the stamp set and the dies. You get a 10% discount when you order them together. So that's pretty cool. There are 17 different dies in this pack that coordinate with our cup of tea. And one other thing that I really like to do is I like to take all of my dies and die cut them and put them on a card like this so that I can see exactly what these all do, right? I mean, you could put these on a, a magnetic sheet and stick them back to this paper so they're all spread out, but most of the time they don't stay that way. This, I glue right on there and I know exactly what I'm dealing with. So I'm ever going through my dies. I put this right in my pack. I'm ever going through my dies and I'm like, oh, I need some little hearts for a project. I will know that there's little hearts in here or I need some little flowers or I need a little tag or whatever the case may be. But here are all the dies included with the teacup dies. This is a suite shown on page 12 and 13 in our new annual catalog, which if you don't have a new annual catalog and you want one, I would be happy to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator if you don't have one. So you can email me at kelly at a stampabove.com stampabub.com and I'll be happy to send you a real live catalog. Where's my real live catalog? I just unloaded all my stuff. <clears throat> Here's my real live catalog and I went through my purse. Oh, I thought I put all my receipts in here. Nope, I must have put them someplace else. But here is our real live catalog. It's big. It's got mm, 184 pages in it. Oh, it's incredibly beautiful. Um, I think another thing that is available for you guys to be able to get with a branded merchandise, I want to say that you can get these index tabs. These are called 20, well, uh, well they're going to be 20, 22, 2023 20, catalog tabs. Can you guys that are demonstrators let me know, is this something that um, non-demonstrators can order? Because... I started putting mine in here and I have to tell you that I love them because when I'm looking for things, I'm looking for adhesives. I'm always fumbling looking for the adhesives. 
I'm looking for where do my embellishments start? I always need to go and find item codes and, you know, write the right name down. Here's where all the colors of cardstock and inks start. So I started putting my tabs in here and I absolutely love those. All right, so if you would like a catalog, please don't hesitate to ask. I would be happy to mail one to you. All right, let's get back to our card. The other new item that I'm using are these fabulous stylish shaped dies. Now, let me get this out of the way. You get 15 different dies in here, you guys. You get one, two, three, four, five squares, five, oh, six. One, two, three, four, six circles. One, two, three, four, five squares. Two double end banners, um, four double end banners. This is a fantastic set of dies. And again, it's called Stylish Shapes Dies. We're going to be using those. <clears throat> and then I wanted to get these out. This is the T Boutique Cards and Envelopes. You get 20. So you get 10 cards and 10 envelopes, I think. Let me make sure. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nope, you get more than that. <clears throat> 14, 15, 16, 17, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what you get? One, two, three. You get 20. Let's look in our catalog. This is on page 12 and 13. I don't want to give you guys bad information. I hate it when I talk and I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> These are shown on page 137. So you can look right here and see the details back here on page 137. <clears throat> You get 20 card bases and 20 envelopes, so you do get 20. All right, good deal. These are all in our new in colors, and look at these pretty envelopes. So here's our parakeet party. Here's our sweet sorbet. Back of the envelope has little flowers on it. Here is our um, Tahitian Tide. I love that. I love that color. Here is our Orchid Oasis, such a pretty purple, right? It's very different from our other purples. Where is our Highland Heather? Very different than Highland Heather. And of course, then we've got Gorgeous Grape. That's very different. Gorgeous Grape is a nice dark grape. This is a pretty bluish grape. And then our Starry Sky. Very, very pretty. Now, here's our card bases. These are all scored for you. So you just grab a card base. It's already scored. And you use your bone folder to burnish that edge good. But these are all, and they're all different patterns. So we've got the Parakeet Party. Here is our Sweet Sorbet. Um, I'm not sure, Sylvia, that the tabs are actually in the catalog, but I they might be um, in the online store, and I, and I could be wrong about that. Somebody who's a demonstrator, can you answer that question um, if people can get the index tabs that are not demonstrators? I'm thinking you can. Here's the... Tahitian Tide, Orchid Oasis, and the Starry Night. I should have looked that up before I started talking about it, but I didn't. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, these all come in a very nice pack with a nice piece of cardboard in there to keep them all nice and straight. Okay, we're going to be using these for our card bases. Oh, okay, they're on the demonstrator supply list. So if you join my team, you'll be able to get the index tabs. Sorry, I thought they were available to everybody. But one more reason to join. There's so many reasons to join, you guys. So many. If you're a demonstrator, you can get them on the supply list. Um, yeah, hi, Sylvia. You are a discount shopper. You can get them on the supply list on the demonstrator website. The other thing we're going to be using is these adhesive sheets. And I have to tell you guys, I was notorious for forgetting to use these. So I've been keeping them, they stack right up here, right up there on my desk. And I have been using these constantly now because they're so handy to turn your die cuts, especially very intricate die cuts into um, stickers. So we're gonna be using the adhesive sheets tonight. Okay, whew, 
I think I've explained everything to you quite well. We are going to bring in a super duper. I've got three different cards to share with you with this first, um, first card that we're going to be making. I've already got, I've chosen the Tahitian Tide for my first card. And then I'm going to be bringing in a piece of the designer series paper. And hang on just a second because <clears throat> oh, I don't have any of my measurements here. That's dandy. Um, hang on just a second. I've got something typed up. By the way, I will have free downloads for the cards that we're making here tonight. I just want you to know that, that I do have free downloads and you can print out a project sheet. I'm trying to find it right now. You can print out a project sheet. There's my cup of tea card. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I'll give you my measurements as we go along here. This designer series paper is two and three quarters by four and a quarter, okay? I chose this card base from my pack of T Boutique cards and envelopes. And hi, Joanne Porter, I see you popping in here. Oh, my naked fingernail, I forgot all about that, Lisa. Yes, it broke right off up to here, so now I've been trying to chip that off. You guys know how crazy acrylic nails are to get off, but the rest of them look pretty decent. I gotta go do that this week, too, is get that, get them fixed. Okay, here's our pretty little card base. And then I grabbed my, um, where did my designer series, here it is. I grabbed my pack of designer series paper. We've got a piece of paper just like this, okay? This is the other side of this. And I cut a little half inch strip. So I'm gonna grab my liquid glue here. This is my favorite form of adhesive for card making. I like that it has a little bit of wiggle room. If you need to move something, you can move it. If you don't let it, you know, dry. It, it dries really fast, but you have some wiggle room before it does dry. That's what I'm trying to say. Then I have our paper snips. These little buggers are so sharp. If you guys are in need of a new pair of scissors, they're really nice for cutting, fussy cutting, and they're super duper sharp. Okay, so here's our pretty little card. And now I am going to take this and I'm going to put it right on the front here. And of course it color coordinates the teapots do in here with our beautiful card base. I'm just going to put this. Now this is going to be my example of a very quick and easy card. And I love that you can, you can make some very intricate, lots of things going on cards with this cup of tea bundle but you can also make some really quick and easy cards. Now, the next thing that I did is I took some Tahitian Tide and I always put all my little extra pieces in here so that I can use them if I didn't use them on a card when I was cutting them out too. That's just the way that I store them. I'm gonna put that on there and then where's my, I should have a little piece of blue. I'm just gonna take, this is Starry Night. This is our Tahitian Tide. So I'm going to take some of our adhesive sheets here. And these come six by 12. You get a ton of them in here. What is this? Oh, that's not the same color. And what you do is you just take them out and you cut the the size pieces that you need. So I'm gonna need a piece. I want to make this into a sticker. So that's what I'm gonna do here. You just cut out your piece of um, adhesive sheet. I'm just gonna put this on a scrap. Hang on, let me get that little bugger. Whoops, ah! hang on, things are falling. Okay. And you're gonna peel this off. This is my sticky part. I'm gonna put this right on here. I'll peel this other one off. There's little, by the way, there's little slits in this paper, not on this side, but on this side. 
and it peels right off to help you get the backing off of it. So that works really good. Here's just the other piece of that. Oops, I'm gonna stick this right in here. Okay, now you don't die cut on this side, you die cut on the other side. So make sure that you're in here. We're gonna run that through our machine. We're gonna run this through our machine. And let me move these back out of the way. Oops. Okay. Um, then I'm going to take one of my circles here. I want to have a, like a mat for my teacups. So I'm going to take this and run it through on a piece of basic white. And then the other thing that I need is a little banner. So I want to take this little banner and I'm going to die cut that also. So once we get all of these die cut, hang on just a second. Here comes this. This is our circle. Here comes our teacups, super, super cute. And here comes our little banner. Now we're gonna start stamping. Where's my stamp set? Here comes my stamp set. So I've got these all mounted. Whoops, <laughs> my um, my Apple Watch is magnetic, so it always is. I'm always getting stuff stuck to it, which is pretty funny. I'm gonna put these back in here so I don't lose them. Okay. What are you guys drinking tonight? I I need to get a new one of these hydro flasks. Mine is like, um, it's sucking air and I don't know why. And it's very annoying, I don't like it. I looked for one at Walmart, but I didn't see anything I really liked. So I'll have to keep searching for that. All right, hang on, I gotta find my ink pad. Here is my Starry Sky, one of our new in colors. And I'm going to take, um, oh, I just want this little thank you on here. So I'm not even using this ink pad. <laughs> That's why it wasn't in there. I've got my new in color markers. You also can get a pack of markers that match all these beautiful new in colors. And I'm going to grab the Starry Sky, and I'm going to use that because this little sentiment says, thank you for your friendship, and I only want the thank you part on this little tag. So I'm going to grab my marker. Now you wanna make sure when you use your markers to color on your rubber stamps, this opens up a whole new world of possibilities, right? You need to huff on it. And, oh, that turned out perfect. So when you use markers to color on your stamps, these have really nice, really nice sharp tips on them. You wanna make sure you're laying your markers down on their side. You don't want to wear off that tip, right? You're always gonna lay it on its side. So there's a little tip for you there. Okay, as long as we have this marker out right now, I decided I wanted to tone this down a little bit. I don't want it to be stark raving white. So I am going to put the tip of my marker in the lid and I'm going to flick some color at it. And this just tones down that white so it's not so woo in your face. Oh, I see lots of people are telling me, oh, they are drinking. Oh, Carol said, try TJ Maxx for your bottle. Melanie likes my nails. Oh, yay. I know I need to get my toes done too. It's toe season in Wisconsin. I just shaved off like I had this much hair on my legs from, you know, coming off winter. <laughs> that's what it felt like. So I just shaved off all my hairy legs. Maybe that's TMI. I don't know. But um. And uh, I need to get my toes and my nails done too. So yeah. Okay. Now I like to use my take your pick tool 
If you guys don't have one of these, you absolutely need to get one. It is my biggest tool. I am going to take this and I just kind of get it under. This is the sticker backing from the adhesive sheets because we've turned this little teacup into a sticker by putting those adhesive sheets on the back before we die cut it. Hang on, I gotta get a hold of this. There we go. Look at that, the whole thing is a sticker. It is just like magic. I'm telling you, just like magic, it's so fun. So, here we go. Sticker, boom, done. Isn't that cool? I love that. Okay, let's get out some dimensionals. And here comes my dimensionals. I'm just so happy to be stamping with you guys tonight, especially on Mother's Day. <clears throat> I don't know that there's a lot of things that I would rather be doing tonight. I just want you to know that. Spending it with all of my people. You guys are my people, and I love that. Thank you. So thank you for spending tonight with me. I am going, oh look, this wasn't dry yet and I just smudged it, but don't worry, don't fret over something like that. We're gonna take our teacup and we're gonna just cover that smudge right up. It's gonna be perfect. Woo! Now again, this was Tahitian Tide with the Starry Sky. And then we're gonna grab some mini dimensionals. You guys know about my sticky kit, right? I have a sticky kit that is all, everything adhesives. Let me grab it, I'll show it to you. This is my little sticky kit. Now I have different color bags. They just come in an assortment of colors, but this has all the things in it. And I mean all the things that you need. It has um, regular dimensionals. It has black dimensionals. It has mini dimensionals. You get tear and tape, mini glue dots, a bottle of liquid glue, my favorite. You also get a stamp and seal plus and a stamp and seal plus refill. I'm waiting for those to come in. They should be here soon. Also a um, glue eraser and a smudge eraser. This is a sand eraser. So all of these things come in this cute little bag. My sticky kits are $69 that includes shipping on all the goodies. And this is a fantastic adhesive kit. So I just wanted to know that I have them. Um, my order will be here this week with the refills. So yay. All right, we're getting ready here to add this to our card front. Um, how can you order the sticky strips? Where do you get it? So that's a great question. The sticky kits, I mean. Um, also, in my online classes, on my blog, you're going to find the sticky kits. Also, in every single blog post, so if you just go to my blog and you start scrolling down, you're going to see a picture of that sticky kit, and there's a link there that you can order it. So thank you so much for asking that. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. So this, again, is just a super duper simple little card. I'm going to put this right here. You can make up a whole set of these in all the different colors, right? And I'm going to take this and put it right over here. Whoops, hang on, I made it crooked. There we go. And then I wanna add some embellishments. And I think that I will bring in these pretty little glassy dots. They come in a beautiful assortment. And, oh, that looks, nope, that looks okay. I was gonna say it looks a little crooked. I'm gonna grab one of these bigger ones with my take your pick tool. This is like my, this is my right arm practically when I'm stamping, I'm not even kidding. Put another one right there and then maybe let's grab a medium sized one and we'll put that right down here on our crooked tag. <laughs> Did you guys notice that was crooked? <laughs> Look, oh, that's crooked. Let's get it together, Kelly. Okay, so we have that and I need to grab one of my envelopes to match. Da. There it is. There we go. Okay. 
What do you guys think of this? Isn't that just super duper easy? The envelopes are already decorated. It's super pretty. That's why these cards and envelopes called T Boutique cards and envelopes are so cool. I don't know where to hang on. There comes my, I don't know why my comments weren't coming up. Sorry, you guys, they weren't scrolling. I was watching before all the things that you guys are drinking tonight. I saw iced tea. I saw some beer. Yeah, super cute card, right? Super easy. Now, let me put these. I've got a few more to show you. I'm going to set these right over here. Um, here comes another one. And I decided to use the Sweet Sorbet instead of the Starry Night. So it's the same exact card. And then we've got this one, which is pretty much the same exact card, only I put my strip of designer paper. This is one and seven eighths by five and a half down the side over here instead of two and three quarters at the bottom. And this is where I use those pretty little flowers. These are called the Fun Flower Resin Shapes. Look at those. They are very, very cool. And of course, these are in colors. So, so there's another super easy card. Again, I just took a half inch strip right there. <gasps> Who wants to see another one? I think I have one more. Where did it go? One, two, three. Oh, maybe that's it. Huh. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> I thought I had another one, but I don't. Let me put that away. We are going to make another card, though. It's a little bit more. These were quick and easy. Just showing you how, how fun it is to use these beautiful cards and envelopes. And that just that just is so much happy coming in your mailbox, isn't it? So let me set these off to the side. Now, I promised you some never-ending stamping tonight, right? You guys remember that from my, my little post that I put up earlier? We're going to do that in just a minute. Right now, we're going to make a card that's a little bit fancier. Just a little bit fancier. Okay, here comes our envelope. We're going to use the Starry Sky. And again, these are already scored for you, so we're just going to burnish that edge good. I've got my little half-inch strip that I want to put on the inside. <laughs> Deb says she loves the envelopes. I know, right? They're so happy. I love a pretty envelope. I was a little sad today. Haley stopped over to grab a Mother's Day card for her mother-in-law because they were headed over there after we had lunch. And I didn't have an envelope stamped up to give her. And I felt like a... I just felt like I was jipping her, right? <laughs> I really did. Okay, so I am going to be putting my um, sticky paper... And I can see my little slit right here. I'm going to put my sticky paper hang on, on my basic white scrap. Because this time we're going to cut our little intricate teacup out of a basic white scrap. Okay, so we know that our teacup is going to go on this side. Let me grab that. Here comes our teacup. It's going to go right up there. And I'm going to take some of this designer series paper and I'm going to cut the outline teacup out of that. Let me get all my bits and pieces out here. And then we have a little bit of stamping to do. Um, here's that Starry Night ink. And then I need uh, crushed curry. We're going to use crushed curry too. So. Um, we're going to stamp this little line of flowers. These are really, really cute. Stamp those right here. Oh, I should have put those on the sticker paper, but next time. <laughs> next time we'll do that. Okay, and then we have these two little lemon wedges. We'll need those. One and two. 
Okay, so we're gonna die cut that. Close this up. Again, Crushed Curry and Starry Sky. I just got ink all over my ink pad um, case. Did you guys know that, I must have left my baby wipes open because they're not very juicy. But I did put some water in them to moisten them up. Baby wipes will wipe that ink right off and make your ink pads look like brand new again. Yeah, it's pretty darn sweet. As long as I'm cleaning here. <laughs> Didn't know this was gonna be like a cleaning show, right? Look at how nice those get. Just like new. So, baby wipes, they're our friend. I'll set that right up here. All right, next up, we are going to do all of our die cutting. So we have, not only do you have where you can just stamp the lemon and cut out the lemon wedges, but we also have this neat little overlay, the detail one, and I just wanna, which is right here. So you can, you can just put cardstock on top of it in a different color too, that's super cute. All right, so here's our little flowers. Here's our little wedge. Here's our little teacup. The last thing we're going to do here is we are going to stamp. Uh, it's time for tea. So we're going to do that on our little scrap of um, Starry Sky with Versamark ink. I'm bringing in my white embossing powder here. And we're going to emboss this. There we go. Always close up your embossing powder and always close up your Versamark ink pad before you start doing anything. We're gonna heat this up. Magic, it's just like magic when this turns. It's so cool. And there it goes. Can you see it turning? It just gets all glossy. So you need Versamark ink. This is our white embossing powder from our basics embossing powder, you get white, black, and clear. Heat gun, this is our heat tool. This is really nice. All of these things can be found in my online store. And then I'm going to grab this tag. Now we have two different size tags with the cup of tea dies. I'm gonna use the bigger one. So we're gonna die cut that. So we're gonna do all of these things, all of these things, hang on. Here comes this, and this, and here's our lemon wedges, and our little sticker teacup, and then we've got our little tiny flowers. Hang on, I'm looking for the bigger ones. Oh, here they are and our bigger flowers. Whew, okay, now we get to start building. This is so fun. Oh, and I cut out a scallop from the contour scallop dies. So, let me grab that. I took all of these cards. I made these cards in, in advance. Lots of times I don't do that, but I took them all up north with me so I could get every ty thing typed up and have it ready to roll for you as soon as we're done tonight. So I have things in all different places. I thought I got everything back together, but I didn't. So this is the contour scallop dies. Okay, so we're gonna be using this in these beautiful dies. If you don't have those, I highly recommend them. They are super duper fun. All right, here's our little sticker, our little teacup sticker. And I apologize, I'm probably gonna keep you guys for a while tonight. So if you, 
if you if it get if it gets too late where you are, you can always come back and you can push the video up to where you left off and keep watching. But yeah, I just got a little overexcited about new catalog product. So we have an, a longer stamping class tonight. And again, it's Mother's Day, and this is what I love to do. So I wanted to spend it with you. <laughs> stamping away. All right, we're going to put, well, first of all, let's do this. I'm going to set this right down here. I want to know where do I want this little cup. This is just a dry fit. And now I'm going to grab my Parakeet Party and my little leafy deals here. And I am going to stamp those on my scalloped layers. So I'm going to pull that out of the way. I just wanted to know about where I needed it to go. Oh my gosh, aren't those so cute? And now we're going to come in with some dimensionals. Where did my, here they are. And it's Mama's Day. That's right. That's right, Debbie. I'm so happy to see you here tonight. It is Mama's Day. And Mama going to do what Mama want to do, right? <laughs> Darn toot we are. Oh, look, I got a, look at it, I got a smudge. Hang on, I'm getting ahead of myself. I gotta find my sand eraser. It's here, there it is. Good Lord, it's in my basket of goodness. See what I did here? I got a little smudge of green. Let me wipe my fingers off. So that sticky kit that I showed you, it has this mono stand, sand eraser in it. And when you get a little smudge, you can take it off just like that. Yeah, all those erasers are a blessing to stampers, I'll tell you that, because we've all done it, right? We've all smudged something. Okay, look, at, isn't that pretty, that white over that designer paper? Now we're going to bring that in here. I'm going to hold this up so I can see it a little better. Make sure that my teacup has my little leafy deals in it. Yay. And then we're going to come in with these. Now, my die slid a little bit, which happens, you know, so I've got a much wider white margin on this little piece of lemon. I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim that down so it doesn't look so goofy, okay? Then I'm going to add some baby dimensionals to the back of one of my lemon wedges, not both of them. Oh, I shouldn't have put that cup on there already. I wonder if I can still get that off. Oh, yep. These dimensionals don't set immediately. After a while, they will set, and you won't be able to get them off. But if you pull something apart right away, you can usually get it off. I wasn't ready to do that. All right, so we've got both of those ready to go. That's ready to go. What I'm going to do here is I got a little piece of our twine. Let me see if I can find the twine. Uh, here it is. The ink colors, hang on, things are falling. What is that? Oh, I found that on the floor. It's like, oh, it's got dimensionals on it and everything. Dang it. Probably lost that during a video. Um, these in color, these are the new 2022-2024 in color Baker's Twine Pack. So you get Baker's Twine in each one of the new in colors. Absolutely gorgeous. And I have just a tiny little piece of the Starry Night here. And what I want to do with that is grab my mini glue dots. And I needed to attach it to the back of my teacup before I put my teacup down. So that's why I'm like, oh, I didn't want to do that yet. So I'm just going to put that right in my mini glue dot. And then these aren't really that sticky anymore. So gonna peel their butts right off of there and we'll add some new ones. I don't want my teacup to fall apart. Okay, now we can put our teacup on. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. I tend to get so excited. <laughs> I know, it's kind of crazy, right? Here comes our cute little teacup. Ah. And then we're going to take this little end and we're going to put it on the back of our little it's time for tea tag. So I am going to grab another mini glue dot and put it right there. And 
let's see, where do I want this at? I want this to be right about here. So I don't need my little string to be too long, right? It's kind of crazy how short you cut it. Oops. There we go. And then I think I will just add another mini glue dot. So I've got a mini glue dot under my twine and now I'm putting it over my twine. I just wanna make sure that that's gonna stick in place. So there's my little string. How cute is that, you guys? Ah. And now we're ready for our lemon wedges. Comes a little lemon wedge. I thought I'd put one right there. This one has dimensionals on it. I'm just going to add that one right about there. I wanna move this one a little bit. Let's see if I can move it a little bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's more what I wanted there. And then we've got these cute little flowers. So these bigger flowers, um, where did my stamp set go? That's this little row of flowers. It stamps all five of those and then the die cuts all of them at the same time. So I'm going to grab my mini glue dots and put them on these bigger flowers, just like that. And I thought these really add a lot. Okay, so without flowers, and now we're going to go right over here like this and we'll put this one right down here oh my gosh isn't that make a huge difference they're so stinking adorable so I'm gonna put a little tiny dot of glue right here and at the end of each one of these little tiny pieces and then again my take your pick tool makes these so easy to pick up like uh, this is my it's like my third arm. <laughs> and then we'll grab our card base. Make sure it opens the right way or I'll have to send this card to my friend, Sue. You guys have heard me talk about Sue. She's the one that I send my cards to when I put the front on upside down or backwards because she knows, she understands, and then we all have a good laugh. She's like, oh, that Kelly did it again. You guys ever do that? Put your card front on so now it's upside down or your card opens instead of opening this way, it opens that way. Yeah, we've all done it. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay, here comes our cutie patootie. This scalloped rectangle is just the perfect layer, right, for this tea. Next, we need to do some embellishments. So where did my glassy dots go? Hello, glassy dots. Oh, here they are. Comes our glassy dots. And again, I thought the yellow ones would work perfect for um, this particular card. And I think I'll just put one down here. You've got a large, a medium, and a small. And come on. That one's being kind of a stinker. And now I'm stuck in the blue dots. <laughs> Sometimes it's just such a mess. <laughs> All right, where's my envelope? Look at this, you guys. Isn't that totally adorable? So there's another card to go with my pretties. My pretty pretties. I sound like the Wicked Witch, right? My pretties. Okay, let me clean these off and we're going to get on to the never ending part of our stamping tonight. Do you guys know what I keep saying that? I keep like, keep saying it's a never ending evening of stamping. Do you guys know what's next? I'm pretty excited. We are going to be making a never ending card. I am gonna show you how super simple this is. All right, let me get my, let me get my stuff out here. Here comes my never ending card. We might be using sweet sorbet, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about anything tonight anymore. <laughs> what is this? Oh, what is that? Okay, now I had to keep my bits and pieces 
pretty darn organized here so that I wouldn't get off on a thing. And I made I made a few of these so that I would look like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I do know what I'm doing. That's not what I meant. But I needed to not look like an idiot because that gives me the hot flashes. And then, is Wendy on here? We have to use the pause hot flash cooling mist. It's a whole thing, right? So... We're going to give ourselves a little unicorn magic. Pray for me that I do this well. Okay, here we go. I've got two different never-ending cards that I'm going to share with you. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and I've got an envelope. So what am I going to do with that envelope? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. That's what the ink is for. Sweet sorbet. Here we go. We're going to decorate our envelope first because I'm pretty confident I could do that without a hitch. <laughs> I know, right? Ooh, she's on a roll tonight. Okay, here comes the striped. <gasps> Isn't that cute? I love this. And then we're going to use the little green spriggy things again. So, um, where did the green ink pet go? That's not it. Here it is. I want to stamp this on this teacup, but first I need to mask it. So we happen to have some brand new masking paper. You get 12 sheets. They're five by seven. And this is masking paper. It's kind of like a whole sheet of post-it notes. The whole thing is sticky. So again, masking paper. You can find that in my online store when you type masking paper in the search engine. Now, I'm going to put that right up to the edge of my teacup. What I really like about it, and this was the first time I used it because it's a brand new product. What I really liked about it is that you can see through it. Like, I can see my teacup through the masking paper so I know where to stamp my little green sprigs. And I'm going to stamp them just a little bit over the edge of the masking paper. <sighs> Look at that perfect every time. So masking paper is our friend and I'm just going to stick that on there because I could use it over and over till it doesn't stick anymore, right? I think it's going to be my best friend, quite frankly. Okay, we have some very cool things to do here with our never ending cards. So all of the dimensions, scoring instructions, a picture of my template, and a little ruler. You guys remember my little ruler that I do? <gasps> I love this thing. This is all in the downloadable project sheet. Where are you going to find that? It's going to be on my blog as soon as I can get this video downloaded to my computer and uploaded to YouTube. I will have a whole blog post with still photos of all my projects. You're gonna find a shopping list that tells you what color the ink is and what the name of the baker's twine was and the adhesive sheets and all the things. You can click right on the pictures of all the products. It goes right to my online store. You'll get all the details, all the dimensions, written instructions, photographs, and a link back to this video in the free downloads that I am providing you. So again, on my blog, you're going to find all this. And I have the ruler in my download for the never ending card. You're going to need your paper trimmer. What I have here is Starry Sky. This is, this is a half a sheet of cardstock cut in half. So four and a quarter by five and a half. And you need two of them, four and a quarter by five and a half. And ooh, I need to find my instructions. Hang on. What we're going to do first is we are going to score at one and three eighths inches on each side on the long side. What does that mean? Okay. What that means is this is the long side. This is shorter, right? So long side, short side. When I say on the long side, you put the long side up against your backboard here. So we are going to go one and three eighths inches on the long side. So I've pushed it over here to one and three eighths inches. This is my scoring blade. Turn it around. I'm gonna push it over to one and three eighths inches and do that again. Okay, so that's on the long side. Now this piece, 
we are going to cut at two and an eighth inches on the short side. Short side up here. Oops, I didn't, my computer wasn't on mute. Up here, we're gonna go in two and an eighth. So we're basically cutting it in half. That's all we're doing. Cut it in half. So now we have this. Okay, I'm gonna set that right there. This is our other piece. Are you guys with me so far? Nobody is hyperventilating. <laughs> because these never ending cards look really hard, but they're not. And I have to um, shout out to Priscilla. She's the one who sent me the flowers. She's one of my team members. She did a demonstration at our team meeting on this never ending card. And we were all gasping and going, oh my gosh, it's so simple. That's one of the fun benefits of being on my team. Join, you'll love it. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. Now what we're gonna do with this piece is we are going to score it one and one sixteenth from both sides on the short side. Short side up against here, one and one sixteenth. And this is where my little ruler deal comes in that I just had and have set aside and lost. So let me get a drink mm, mm. while well, I find it. <laughs> that worked. One little mark is a 16th, okay? So we're going one and one little mark on the short side. We're scoring it one and one 16th. So I just put it over here this time. Aw, oh, shoot. I just cut it. So, hang on. We did not need to cut. We're going to start over on this piece. <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> okay. And this is five and a half. All right, here we go. We're going to do it again. Let's get our scoring blade back in place where it belongs. Jeepers creepers. Okay, so again. This is our second piece. We're gonna score one and one sixteenth on the short side on both sides. So one and one sixteenth. Here we go. Turn it around and do it again. That's it. Now we need to cut this in half. This time we're gonna cut it in half at two and three quarters on the long side. Flip it, cut it in half. Easy peasy. Now, I know you guys are gonna be like shocked, but we only have one more thing to do to make a never ending card, and that's put on some tear and tape or some seal plus. I'm going to use seal plus. Whoops, that's not seal plus, that's an old tape runner. I'm gonna use seal plus. Um, you can use either one. Now, we are going to take, this is our two wider pieces. These are our two thinner pieces, okay? We're gonna put tear and tape or um, seal plus, not seal, but seal plus. I'm gonna run two lines of it here at the top on the side. There we go. So that's at the top up here, and now I'm gonna do it down at the bottom on the side. If you tip this up when you're using it, it keeps the tape up at the top of the tape runner, and then the next time you use it, you don't have to run it with your finger. And I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, so this is what we have just like that. I put tear and tape there, or I'm sorry, seal plus. I'm gonna erase just a little, whoops, that's my sandy eraser, I don't want that. I've got just a little bit of adhesive over the line here, and I need to get that off of there. So hang on just a second. There we go. It's gonna come right off of there. Okay, back to our reg regularly scheduled program. So before you put the tape on, you're supposed to score and burnish all your lines. So I already blew it. But what I wanna, whoops, what I wanna tell you about this 
is when you're burnishing your edges, you want to go both ways. You're going to do it this way, and then you're going to turn it over and do it that way. These need to be really flexible. Okay, so I forgot that part. Whew. I do have this written in the instructions to burnish before you put your, but if you put tear and tape on, it doesn't really matter, okay? All right, so I'm going to see if I can burnish the edges because I got the tape on already and I wasn't supposed to put it on yet. Dang it, Kelly. I'm sure Priscilla is at home going, Kelly, no. <laughs> all right, now, once you have that all done, then you add your tape. And now we're gonna take these two pieces right here and we're gonna put them up there. So we're gonna take this one. We're gonna hold this. Now you can do this one at a time if you want. One piece at a time. I'm just going to hold both of mine together because I'm fairly confident that I call myself a professional. I can handle this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you guys have seen me screw up more things than you're like, wow, she's really brassy tonight. Okay, stuck that down. And now I'm going to do this one. And you just kind of butt them up against each other. Make sure everything looks good and even and in place. And I see a little bit of my tape sticking over the side. I'm going to fold that over right there. So it's not sticking out the side. Come in here. Do this. Make sure it sticks good. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Ready? This is our never-ending card. See, this is where I didn't get to burnish those edges good. So I'm going to do it now. So I guess we're okay. Okay, so here's the front of my card. Oh, I got that running over just a little bit. What happened there? Hang on a second. Oh, that's just a little bit too long right there. Okay, so hang on. I'm going to trim that. I'm going to trim that just a touch. Oh, yeah, I can see that it's running over a little bit. If it doesn't go right, just trim off a tiny bit. And I've got an old Stampin' Up! guillotine cutter here that I think will be able to do that quite well. Okay, so here we go. Let's do it again. This is crazy, right? Oh, it's still sticking just a little bit. I think I'm going to cut off just a little bit more of that. I didn't have this happen in any of the samples that I made, so there we go. What do you guys think? Is this not just the coolest thing ever? Oh. So you get to decide which is your front, which is your back. Now, I also provide you with this picture that shows you what's happening here and that you just take these you push them together, peel off your tape, put this right here and this right here, and that's it. This is your never ending, totally cool <laughs> card. Thank you guys, I'm watching all your comments come through. Hi mom, happy Mother's Day, my mom's on here. Woohoo! there we go. Okay, now we need to decorate, right? So I've got all my little bits and pieces right here. So here's what you need. We're gonna do this and this, this and this, this and this. I'm gonna show you all the little pieces. So these bigger pieces, these and these and these and these, you need eight of these. These are, uh, where did my measurement go? These are, okay, two, I'm sorry, two inches by two and five eighths. You need eight of these. And I just picked out some all different patterns, okay? So I am going to, I'm gonna glue these on for you so you can see how I did this. Now the sky's the limit with all of your, your designer paper, what you wanna do with it. I'm gonna, yep, this, this was cut this way, so I'm gonna go like this. This goes right in the middle here. And this one is right down here. Oops, that moved. Okay, so we're gonna do that. 
Then I have four pieces. These are seven eighths by two and five eighths. Now this is gonna, I'm making this the front of my card. If you wanted to, you could make this the front of your card, but this is gonna be the front of my card. And so I'm just going to add these little strips. And again, this is all the T-Boutique Designer Series paper. You can decorate this as much or as little as, hang on, I got this one crooked and I'm trying to move it. As little or as much as you want. Like you can go crazy with it. The one thing that Priscilla told us, she doesn't recommend is a lot of dimensionals on here because it's gotta keep folding and folding and folding. You know what? Here's what happened to this card, you guys. I think that that other piece was bigger than it should have been. <laughs> so now all of my all of my um, little pieces are gonna be off a little bit. Remember I screwed it up and I had to start over. I don't think that piece was the right size. So anyways, you get the idea. Okay, so here's our first one. Now we're gonna come in here. And when we do that, I am going to take these two pieces and I'm going to glue those on. So I love this color, this um, crushed curry with the starry sky is just like so bold, really pops. Okay, so here's this one and this one. Okay, and now we're gonna fold it again and we're gonna do this one. And one down here. So, again, this one goes on the top. This one goes on the bottom. Just like that. And then we open it up one more time. This is the back of mine. And I'm going to do this piece and this piece. Now again, these are all two and five eighths. I'm sorry. Yeah, two and five eighths by two inches. Two inches, two and five eighths. Now when you're cutting your designer paper too, you wanna see if it has a definite pattern and needs to be right side up, you need to pay attention to that. Okay, and then these are one and a quarter by two and you need four of them. And they're gonna go on this back. And then I'm gonna show you mine that I decorated up, because I think I've kept you guys long enough. What time is it even? It's almost nine o'clock. We are having fun, aren't we? Oh, darn it. I think we're having a great time. Now, I wanna challenge you guys to make one of these. Go back, rewind the video, see how I did this base. The rest of it is just, it's just adding these layers. Here's my front, here's my inside, here's my next, here's my next. Just keeps going, this is a never ending card. So let me show you what I did here. Here is my card. So I took one of those circles from the, um, what are these called, stylish shapes. I took one of these circles and I white embossed Let's Get Together Soon, which is part of the cup of tea. I added a couple so, um, sweet sorbet flowers from the same, I didn't use any other stamp set. Next, I did I Miss You with the little flower on the tea bag with the in color baker's twine and a little heart. These are both out of designer series paper. This is just a pretty layer. Here's my last layer. I took the thank you for your friendship and I stamped it and cut it in a strip and then cut it apart and glued it on here. And then on this one, it says it's tea time. And I've, again, used the heart to hold the little tea bag. And we're back to the front. Here's our card. Do you guys want to see the other one I made? <laughs> it is, you guys. I see everybody saying it looks so easy. It is so easy. Jenny says she's going to try it tomorrow. 
here's my next one. Now you notice I didn't put any embellishments. I don't have dimensionals on here. Um, I've got glue dots under my little tea bag things because you don't, it, it won't fold down if you've got a bunch of junk in there, right? <laughs> Listen to me. And then I wanted to tell you too that I plan on signing my card right here. So you need to think about that too. The one that Priscilla made, um, she, she, she died, cut a circle like this and put it someplace in the card and that's where she was gonna sign hers. So where did my other one go here? I just had it in my hand. Here it is. Here's my other one. I did my envelope with the designer paper for my next one. And then here it comes. It says, take care of yourself. And I did put this on dimensionals. So you can use dimensionals. I just wouldn't recommend a lot of them. These hearts come right out of the paper. Look at how cute is that. I added some flowers on the sides. And then this is my back. And I can sign this. I think where I would sign it at is right on the back. In you know, here I'd write to, to Jean, love Kelly. We need to get together or whatever, so, or, or get well soon. This is a take care of yourself. So here's this one, never ending card. You saw how simple this was, you guys. Like, I'm not kidding. It's so easy. I was shocked. My whole team was gasping, not kidding. So there you go. There's a never ending card. So we've got that. I will have the free downloadable um, file available to you as soon as my video is finished processing tonight. Here is some more quick and easy cards with the cup of tea. Now this is my online class this month. So you're going to get in that online class, oh, I didn't, I don't have that written down, but I believe there are five additional card ideas plus a boxed gift set with five more cards in it, I think. Quote me on that, but it's all on my, it's all on my blog right here. Um, and again, if you would like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. If you're watching later on YouTube, that super thanks is a great way to um, thank me if you'd like to. I know I've had a lot of people asking me um, if there was a way that they could contribute because they're getting so much from my videos. And of course, I always appreciate that. You guys know I appreciate all of you. So orders are appreciated. Give me a thumbs up. You can order my kits. We have that catalog kickoff going on. That lasts until the 20th. Still tons of fun. We haven't done any of the live classes yet and everything is pre-recorded, or is recorded, not pre-recorded because they're live, but we record them after the live is done so that you'll have links to be able to watch them. And who wants to see my fun mail? Are you guys ready? <laughs> oh, before you guys, before anybody else leaves, I see you guys are, um, you're signing off, but I just want to wish you all a very happy Mother's Day too. So I'm glad I got to spend this special day with all the, not all, with a whole bunch of important people in my life, right? Okay, so I do training. I do business training and my business trainer sent these. I just got these in the mail. So these sit up. They're little wooden blocks that hold these. These are ceramic tiles. They're coasters. I didn't even know that. Look at that. It says, you are amazing. And it says, one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. And I thought these were so nice. This was a gift for the most, the latest round of um, training that I just did with her. And look at this beautiful card. She's using the uh, sending, what's it called? Sending smiles. This is a brand new stamp set in here. So very, very cool. I just got this in the mail. So that was fun. And then let me grab, oops. I know I've got so much mail because I didn't do mail for a little while. Let me grab, I'm going to grab a pile of it and see how far we get here. Okay. We have from Tracy Jacobs. Oh, this is so pretty. Yay. Look at how gorgeous that is. And I think this is actually a swap card. I know it is. So Tracy Jacobs. 
Um, as Stampin' Up! demonstrators, we have been swapping like crazy. This is what we do. Look at how cute this is. Um, Priscilla sent this for Valerie. Oh, and she gave her a little Amazon gift card. She's, oh, I can't wait to shop with her. Priscilla, I'm going to shop with her on Wednesday on Amazon. Look at how cute that is. So this is a little pocket. Thank you so much. That is adorable. And then we have, oh, this is from Polly Ringel, Riggleman. Beautiful, beautiful. And look at, this is so cute. The wonderful Kelly Atchison. That is so cute. Thank you. But look at how cool this is. This is an arrow card. It says, thank you so much for a wonderful retreat. I haven't had a chance to make my projects, but I can't wait. They're all so beautiful. So that was from our spring retreat. Our catalog kickoff is a whole nother event where there's going to be some beautiful projects. And then we have from Kathy Showalter. Look at this gorgeous. Oh, this is so, so pretty. Let me see if I can get it open. There we go. And then she wrote on some um, post-it notes. Kathy, this is gorgeous. She got some happy mail. She won the adhesive backed sequins. So very, very pretty. I'm going to move these over so I can lay these cards out here. <gasps> this, I think, is another swap card. Um, yep, this is another swap card that I got with that beer set. That's cool. I'm going to put those over there so they don't get mixed in with all this. What is this? Oh, you're invited. Uh, May 31st, we get to start registering for an event backstage is a Stampin' Up! event that is open to, I believe, Silver Elite and above demonstrators. And it's going to be in New Orleans. So we are finally getting back to in-person events. Look at how fun that is. I got to keep that. Can't wait. I'm definitely going. All right. Um, oh, it looks like a lot of these are swappy. <laughs> Here we go. Look at this. This is from Luba. Luba! I can't wait to give this to Val. She's going to love it. Look at how fun this card is. This is for Valerie. Happy second birthday, Luba. You are so sweet. And this is just adorable. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that cool? Thank you, Luba. Next up, we have... Ooh, this one is really cool, too. This is from Lisa De Alessandro. <gasps> Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? These are those decorative masks, you guys, that are in the, um, the spring mini catalog. This is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for the gems as a door prize from the team meeting. You're welcome, Lisa. Thank you so much for your beautiful card. Next up, we have Betty Whitmore. Look at this dandy. Betty is my sweet customer from Holly, Michigan. I get to talk to her every once in a while. Look at how pretty this is. You are so welcome, Betty. Oh, I love those iridescent rhinestones. They're my favorite. Next up, we have, <gasps> look at this pretty card. This is from... Christine. Look how pretty that is. A happy mail surprised me the second time in four months. Yay. She says, the best thing I have ever done in my 25 years of stamping is join your team. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? Christine, I am so glad you're part of my team and thank you so much. You made my day. That's a great thing to hear, right? This is from Priscilla. Look at how fun this is, you guys. This uses the T again. Watch. Oh, you're on my mind and in my heart. Priscilla and I have been doing Wordle every day. She goes, today's Wordle, great, is what you are. How cute is that? Isn't that sweet? Oh. Yeah, we'll make one of these. These are cool. I love a fold that moves. It's neat. Thank you, Priscilla. And what do we got here? Oh, this was sent to me by my good friend, um, Susan. And look at this motorcycle card. She wanted to send it to me. I can use it and give it to Steve. But I thought that was really cool. I remember these little embellishments too. Isn't that neat? It's got a great place to write inside of it. She even sent me the envelope to go with it. Yeah, little muscle car there. Susan, thank you so much. 
Oh, let's see. I'll grab some more mail. We're, we're on a roll. I think we can get through all of it. I hate splitting it up because then it gets kind of a little crazy. This is from Mary Stroman. She says, oh, look, at here's her little card she wrote on. Thanks so much for the fun prizes for guessing Dawson's birth. She was the winner of Dawson's birth weight, birth date, all the good things. Look at how cool this is. So I don't remember. Oh, look at that. This kind of sits up. Mm, love it. Look at how cool that is. That is so cool. Um, yeah. And she put this little card with a piece of designer paper on it to write on. So I thought that was really cool. Thank you, Mary. And here comes another one. Oh, this is pretty. This is new in colors. This is from Diana Sanders. Thank you for my happy mail. I just show you guys the inside here. She's also on my team. Look at her amazing, absolutely perfect handwriting. Like Diana, holy cow. Your handwriting is just precise. So cool. But your card is beautiful too. <laughs> Love it. Okay, next up, we have, oh, this is a really pretty one, too. This is from Donna Manning. <gasps> Look at the foil. I love the embossed foil. So pretty. Thank you for the lovely surprise of winning Prize Patrol. She loves the new stamp set and the embellishments. It's always fun to get something besides bills in the mailbox. That's why I love to send prizes, Donna. So thank you so much for your beautiful card. And then this one comes from my mama. You guys recognize this? This was a bingo card to someone who makes others so happy. You're the best. My mom says, I am so lucky to have you for my daughter. Love you to the moon and back. Mama, I love you too. Cool. Very cool. That's from the box of cards I gave my mom, right? This is for Priscilla. Or I'm sorry, this is from Priscilla to Haley. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, I'm going to give this to her. I'll be seeing her tomorrow, I believe. So I will give that. I'm putting that right back in here, Priscilla, so I can give that to her. And here comes Luba. This card, look at, she sent this for Molly. How sweet is she? Uh, it's a get well card. And, oh, you guys, I have to report on Molly. So Molly was sick. She had the croup. And um, she was at the ER like three times last week getting breathing treatments. And I am happy to report that she is doing better. She was just coughing, 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 coughing. They said she had two viruses. They were both bronchial related. And so she's doing better. So thank you guys so much for your thoughts and prayers for Molly. And Luba, look at how cute this is. Molly's going to love this. We're probably going to see her tomorrow. So I'll put this in the stack with Haley's card and I will give that to Molly. She's going to love it, especially with the unicorn envelopes. And this one is for Anna. Anna just had a birthday. So Luba made her a birthday card. How pretty is that? Oh, I love the sparklies, Luba. I'm going to do the same thing. Here's our beautiful envelope that she made. This is absolutely gorgeous and Anna is going to love that. Haley saw Anna today. They went and Haley and Jared went and looked at a house today. So they got to see Anna because she's their real estate agent. This is from Lois Fairherm. Did I say that right, Lois? Fairherm. I think I did. Ready? Look at how cool that is. Ah! And it says, thank you for all your videos. Congrats on your new grandson. I'm finally back into making cards after my surgery, which went well. Um... Graduation is keeping her busy. Her grandson, she's grand, her grandson. They grow up so fast. So look at how cool that is. This is just so sweet. Thank you so much, Lois. You're the best. And then I have, I'll give this to Haley tomorrow too. She's getting lots of mail. This is for Haley for little baby Dawson. Look at, oh, look at that. Where is this for? This is for Walmart. She will so appreciate that. This is from Mary Stroman. Mary, you are so kind. Thank you so much. I'm going to put that over here in the pile of mail. And the card is absolutely, like, did you guys check out all those little clothes and clothespins? Stoops. Just stinking cute. Stinking cute. All right, here we go. Who is this from? This one's, oh, these are my other envelopes that I already had. Oh, 
You guys, I think that's it. I think that is it. So much pretty mail. So much pretty mail, you guys. Thank you so much. It just makes you happy when you get happy mail, right? Oh, these are so, so cool. Very cool. Okay. All right. I'm going to find a place to put these. And they're coasters, so i got to use them, right? They're kind of a little tippy. Maybe this needs to go like, oh, that's why they need to go back like that in the back. The big part needs to go in the back. I bet you she had somebody make those for her. All right, you guys, cup of tea, my online class for the month. Here are your fabulous, fabulous cards. I hope you will give these a try and enjoy the cup of tea bundle. Tea is very trendy right now. We're going to have a lot of fun with tea, like lots of fun. There's a lot of really good ideas. Um, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you're coming on late. That really helps me out in all of the internet analytics. Make sure you click on that like button if you're later on YouTube. Also, if you're on YouTube watching me, don't forget to click down in the bottom right corner to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. You have yourselves a wonderful rest of your Mother's Day. And uh, once again, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me, especially on Mother's Day. All right, you guys, I'll see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.